this right here is where we manage surfaces. So um, all of these things right here that have the plus sign on the corner of them along this toolbar, these are surfaces. So we will talk about those in more depth. Um, so let's talk about the input and output. Let's talk about how the interface is set up here. So this right here is your input and over here is your output. You have two uh, windows here and right now I have it on dual screen which means that I have selected this pause button looking icon right here. If I were to do the one that's just highlighted on the left side then that would just give me the input. On the right side it would give me the output but I um, am going to select the dual view so that I can see both the input and the output. So right here we have a checkerboard pattern and it is four by four. And if we want this to be more intricate, then we can go over to the test cards area over here and we can make it, we can double it by going to the eight by eight and just clicking the arrow. And so by clicking the arrow, we're making this an eight by eight checkerboard. And then what we're gonna do here is I'm going to show you now with a quad, which is the what the square one looks like. That's the quad. I'm going to show you how to how to scale it up and down. So you're going to um, select the this icon with the arrows coming out of it, and you just click and drag, and you can go in and out, and that will help you um, zoom. This other icon over here with the curved arrow is going to be how you actually rotate the quad and so that's just clicking and dragging as well if you want it to be um, if you want it to be straight then you can hold down shift and then click and drag and that will stop it at 45 degree intervals so you can go all the way around and keep it straight by holding down shift um, right here you see that um, the input is like your um, is like your table it's like it's the surface that you start off on they call it the stage but if we're thinking of this being uh, if we're making a scrapbook this is like your table with all of your photos and your stickers and your other materials that you're using and this over here is like the scrapbook what you're actually crafting right so the input as you can see when I scale it up and down it changes in the output I can change the way that this quad reads the input by adjusting its its width and its height to reset it you just hit this reset button and it'll reset it and you can scale it back down to whatever you want that so for example, if I'm going to, I want this. I want to make a wall. And then I'm going to add another quad and I'm gonna bring it down to, I'm gonna make that one like that. And I'm gonna make the other wall. So now you're, you're seeing a 3D space with these craft supplies and then the actual scrapbook over here if you follow my metaphor it's a terrible one but if you see the quads over here you see that they work almost like a photoshop setup where they're layered so you can click um, this box right here and it will turn invisible you can basically turn off that quad and then if you want to lock it then you just click the lock button here and nobody can mess with that layer so um, I'm gonna leave both of those visible and both of those unlocked and then I'm going to add a folder and I'm gonna call this folder and you can rename these quads by double clicking so this I could say this is wall one and then I could double click on this and say this is wall two and then for the group I could say walls what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these and then click and drag and put them into that group. And then with the click of the arrow, they will be 
unveiled. So I'm going to delete all of those, and then we are going to import and play. Are you ready, kids?